Listen, I will walk up in there with this mother. I ain't gonna do it though. Let me see this. I want some hood girls looking back at it and a good girl in my tax bracket. Got a black card and let sex have it. These Chanel bags is a bad habit. So, it's Friday. I leave in seven motherfucking days. Today, I asked y'all to vote on my Instagram. Today has absolutely nothing to do with my move. However, I'm having a pretty eventful day. And y'all said y'all still wanted me to include today in the vlog. If you don't want to, that's why you should have voted on Instagram. So since <laughs> I'm leaving Baltimore on a week, we got to play some Baltimore tunes up in here. Chinese getting back I'm in a super good mood today, you guys. And my friend Darian here. He has a video shoot today, and I'm the motherfucking video vixen for this motherfucker, okay? I'm about to be up in there looking like a baddie, like, ooh. Cute shit only. I'm in a great mood today, which is good, because yesterday, it's my turn. Yesterday, I was in a terrible mood. I'm gonna play music that he hates. My favorite thing to do. That's, that's your pick. You wanna listen to that? You play it. I have to cut this out because I can't play this. Why this is It is 80 degrees outside. Yeah, I, I'm out here looking, looking a mess, man. I'm out here looking a hot ass mess. And I'm about to get real cute because he got a video shoot. And he want me to be the video girl. So, so. you want to come out, just come on up. So, this is what I'm looking like for this video shoot. As y'all can see, I got my hair still pinned up because I need these curls to be fresh, okay? I need these curls to be fresh. I know. Y'all looking at my nails like, sis, you going to a video shoot without your nails on? Let me tell y'all something. I... What's wrong? Making sure them toes is right. Stop playing with me. Stop playing. So, like I was saying, I'm thinking the same thing y'all thinking. I found out about this video shoot like 12 hours ago. Okay? So, this, baby, <laughs> let's just get it started. This is as good as it was going to get with short notice because y'all know me y'all know me if i knew like a week ago that i was gonna have a shoot ordered a whole new outfit sis would have been ready and i know y'all looking like no lashes yes we're doing lashes i don't have any more hair so when darian gets here to pick me up we'll be getting lashes and then i'm good i could take these what 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 lace what lace i don't i don't see any thank you but um let me show y'all the This is what we doing. It's a natural body, by the way. This is homegrown. Okay, homegrown. From that lady right there and my father. Mm-hmm. Home. Y'all see that? Let me get you in the light. Y'all see this? She is homegrown, okay? Homegrown. We got the 
these on you know these my babies i swear people probably be thinking like bitch they the only pair of heels you got i promise y'all they not i have at least 25 pair of heels at least but these ones like i got other stuff that could match this fit but these ones just be doing something to me these just like oh a little kick up like oh you know what i'm saying these is just they just the one one so i don't know if i'm be able to vlog at this shoot because i just found out where the video she was he set me up he's taking me to the hood and i'm from baltimore and everything but i be scared okay they be shooting up there and all of that i'm gonna find out what this video she was was that she would not be trying to let me go i'm telling you right now they just had three shootings there last week and i'm just finding out that this is where we shooting at so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to uh to 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 uh to vlog when i'm up there hopefully i can but i don't know if i'm going to be able to so if not we will just I don't know what else I have going on today, but if not, tomorrow is my first going away party. And yeah, it'll be the rest of this moving vlog. I'm gonna try to make this vlog too long. I love you. Sean, Sean, Bentley. Uh, Baltimore nigga, yeah, you know how I'm coming. Uh, Fuck her from the back, yeah, I know how she want it. Uh, Stay with a strap, and you know I ain't bluffing. Uh, See me over east, cutting up like an onion. Uh, Feeling like Stokey giving game to the young. Eyes on me like I'm famous and same. You can blame me, but don't blame me for nothing. Like a motherfucker, Penny, I ain't changed for nothing. No. I was in the Jets in the PJ. Hey. Now a nigga home, my God, get a three way. Hey. I was out in PA, trying to duck the DA. Talking my shit, spitting game like a ZA. Westside bitch, shorty say she from EA. Fought the first night, I ain't called high in three days. The way she blew my candles out, okay, cake, happy B day, but I. Look at the butterfly that this fucker just tried to kill. Look at the little butterfly. This is good news. This is a good thing. He was with babe, make him make him move again. How you make him move? I want y'all to see it when it open up. Come on, little guy. Babe, make him move. Make the butterfly move. Should I touch it? Oh my god. Isn't sound, she pretty? She sounds crazy right now. She's so you pretty. You get to crazy. Bad the wind. No, way, we gotta keep it. Bro, you keep it. So, I'm downtown. Today is the day of my going away party. I'm downtown, and Darian is taking me to this food truck. Mediterranean food. I'm going to let him pick. I think I want rice, babe. Right. Body, body, body. I want this. That's what you get on, you get a net. I had like a, I think it's called a gyro. I had one of those when I was in college in uh, Philadelphia and it was disgusting. It was really nasty. I did not like it at all. So I hope that this shit is good because I wanted to get a chicken box, but he said he was getting this and that I should try it. So hopefully it's good. It's really hot. Thank you. Shit, this looks good as fuck. Uh -huh. What the fuck? This is me, uh, five hours back. I got a bag of chips. This shit look good as shit. Okay. We got the same thing? Alright. Let's see. This shit look hot. But it look good as fuck. That's good as shit. Mm. Yeah, this is definitely this is it. Hey y'all, so I just got home. It is 4.50. My going away party starts at 6 o'clock. And as y'all can see, I am nowhere near ready yet. I just got out of the shower. So I'm about to hurry up and get ready. It's cool though, you know, black people don't really arrive on time. 
And um, yeah, I don't really know what I'm wearing, but it's all good. The party is here at my mom's house, of course, because it's for family. So I'm about to get ready and hopefully I get some good footage from this party. So my party has already started, but there's music playing in there, so I can't vlog in there. Let me just give you all OOTD. I got this on with my clear heels. Just something simple and classy. I am going to vlog in there, but it's not going to be like talking vlogs like this. So I just wanted to introduce the little party. And then I guess I'll do like a little montage of everything. I got some Jose Cuevo. About to take a shot with my bestie and her man. I'll put that YouTube channel down below, y'all. Take a shot. She wants me to drive the Haitian boat. Yeah. I'm here, just straight out of here. This, this is the punch, so it's strong, but I want you to take a shit. That's for me for real, even though you need it. Uh huh. That's for me for real. No. That's for you. Understand this. And her baby shower. I, I, mm. I okay. Give more extra head. And she got to give more extra. So am I drinking the shot straight or am I drinking the punch? You're drinking this. No, I want you to take a shot. Okay. Take a shot. Uh, hey, don't drive the boat. Don't you gotta pour it? This is the practice. The love one that is strong. Um, here, put them on the plate. That's good. That's <laughs> Killing the game. What yeah. you pulling in there? So this is Haitian essence. It's uh -huh. straight from Haiti. My grandma brought it. Uh -huh. And then this is the closest America gets to passion fruit. And then the nectar with the guava mixed with a little powder and a whole lot of Haitian rum. This is aged for seven years. It's 43% straight alcohol. Uh huh. Sugar I want some of that. Yeah, I'm it's not bomb. Okay. okay. Oh, wow. I'll be back for Christmas. I miss you. I miss you already. How you gonna miss her? She right here. I'm saying I'm, I said I'm gonna miss you. you put that wig on. I ain't put no wig on. That party got hair. real. You Party got real. What? It got real in here. As y'all can see, my wig is off. My cap is off too. No, a quick history on Haitians. We're the first free black country and we get our money making rum from sugar cane. No, no, it's 86 proof. So the long story short is going to get us fucked up. Yeah, if you drink a lot, you only taking a shot, you'll be alright. It's good for you. Hashtag you back. What? How? Good for your chest. Alright. Okay. I'm driving the boat now. You ready? Don't drive the boat with the baby. I'm going to drive the boat with my wife. Can you give me one of those in my cup? Your success, your safety, and a great year. That's enough. Oh my god. Take it. I need some water. I need water. I don't know who drank the same. Whoa, whoa. Wait, wait. 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 Wait, it's my brother's birthday. First of all, it's it's 12 o'clock. First of all, what the fuck is that? What the hell is that noise? How you tell him about him when I'm at the seat, but he ain't even see. But anyway, it's my brother's birthday, right? Darian just picked me up from my house. It is 12 o'clock on the dot. It is 12 o'clock on the dot. He didn't tell me that we was coming to my brother's shop. It's my brother's birthday, by the way. And he going in there to say his birthday. He didn't let me know so I could put a motherfucking wig. Wow. Wow. He didn't let me know so I can put a damn wig on. So now my brother got to come out here to the car to see me so I can say happy birthday. Because this jigaboo didn't tell me that we was coming to my brother's shop. Fucking clown. I'm mad. But anyway, Ariel got me some wine. If you know me, you know I love wine. So thank you, Ariel, if you're watching this video. I thank you so much for this fucking wine. But I'm pissed at this fucker. Like, how dare he break me to my brother? Listen, I will walk up in there with this mother. I ain't going to do it, though. It's my brother's birthday. I'm not going to embarrass him like that. I'm not going to do that to him. What the fuck is that noise? Like, he's not even in a car, so why? 
this is not the life I signed up for. I signed up for a life, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that this is not it. This is not it. Because why the fuck is the noise making noise? He not even sitting in the damn seat. It ain't nobody in here. Like, why is this shit making his iPhone still connect? Like, what the fuck? It's, it's making noise because he don't got his... I'm pissed. Because my brother's tattoo shop is always lit. It's a fight party tonight. I want to walk up in there with the ratchet shit. You know, throw my little fake ass gang signs. And say happy birthday to my brother. And, you know, talk to everybody and whatnot. But Darian then brought me here. Didn't say nothing. Did I even bring proper shoes? I don't even think I brought the appropriate shoes at the house. As you can see, I don't even have on my outfit from the party anymore. Because it got lit. Like, it got really hot in there. It got really fucking lit. I didn't even get all of it because that's how lit it was. But this fucker. Alright, I see him. I see my brother. He's in the front part where, where ain't nobody yet. So, I am i don't want to really embarrass my brother, but... What a sister's for, you know? Are these even... Okay, I didn't even wear shoes at the house. I'm a clown. I didn't even wear... Yeah, I'm that intoxicated. I didn't even wear shoes at the house. I'm really a clown. But alright. I'm gonna go speak to my brother. It's my bro birthday. It's his birthday, man. He had been growing up. He got me up in here. Why you ain't up here with no wig on? No wig on, man. I'm in here with no wig on. But it's his birthday. Happy birthday. How the fuck was you at the party, cunt? Hey, guys. So, I didn't think, like, that I was gonna have to... Like, I didn't plan on putting this in the vlog. I didn't think this vlog was about to be like this. I thought it was going to be all, like, fun and stuff like that. But I just got to be, I got to be real with y'all. I'm at Darian's house. He's downstairs working. I'm just, I just got here. And, like, I've been really sad since yesterday not sad sad is the wrong word having to say i've been really scared since yesterday today is it's after 12 o'clock so it's wednesday officially i leave in two fucking days and like like i was saying before like i was scared and excited at the same time but now i'm just kind of scared you guys i'm just i'm being honest with y'all by the time this vlog be about already being in Florida, I already be kind of like settled and everything. And yeah, but I don't, I didn't want to like leave this clip out because I'm just, I want to be real with y'all. I want my vlogs to be real. I'm going to tell y'all like how I'm feeling and what I got going on and stuff like that. It's just like I've never lived alone. I lived alone once in my life for a couple of months. It wasn't even that long. It was like three or four months that I lived by myself and I didn't really like it you know I was very lonely even living in Baltimore I was 10 minutes from my mom's house mine intoxicated by the way I just started drinking this wine like these are really much I don't want y'all think I'm just over here in my feelings I've really been feeling this all day but um yeah I'm scared like the excitement is not even here no more before I was thinking like I got a pool it's a beach a beautiful place which now is like I'm really about to leave everybody, my family, my friends, everybody that I love, everything that I'm used to, and I'm stepping into a whole new season of my life, and like, as you guys know, I'm like recently out of a toxic relationship, and it hasn't really like, since it's been over, I thought it was going to fuck me up really bad, since it's been over, I've been living my best life, but like, leaving that and then going to a state by yourself on top of everything, it's just it's just a lot of transition all at once if you get what i'm saying it's just like everything just happens so quickly you know and i know this part of the vlog is probably re really boring i'm pretty sure people was like skipping past this part but like it's just a lot that i have to change so quickly you know what i'm saying just so much like i have to learn to be more cautious i have to learn to be more private i have to learn to be more disciplined i have to learn to be comfortable being alone i have to it's just so much that i have to change in so little time so much new it's all happening and it's just like it's very 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 scary like i'm oh my god i'm getting <sighs> I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I don't want to cry on here. 
I'm not gonna cut this out the vlog. Like, I'm not gonna take this out. I'm trying to be real with y'all. But I'm scared, y'all. I'm really scared. Like, I'm really fucking scared. I know I'm gonna be okay. Like, God got me. I'm gonna be okay. I know I'm gonna be okay. And I know I'm gonna do it, but I'm scared. Like, I'm not back it down my mom asked me like are you reneging like she she wants me to stay low-key she's like are you changing your mind i'm like no mind like i don't want to stay in baltimore like that's even scarier i don't want to fucking stay in baltimore but i'm gonna be all right i'm not saying all of this to say i regret my decision to move or anything like that no i'm happy that i'm doing what i'm doing i'm just fucking scared like i'm just i'm being real with y'all i'm scared i know in the long run i'm going to appreciate where you know everything that's happened I just keep telling myself that the season that I'm in right now is very difficult, but it's very necessary. I'm 22. I'm learning a lot in just a very, very little time. A lot is changing a very little time. I'm used to being, you know, with my family, even for the past year when I travel, I've always had my mom as like my safe net. You know what I'm saying? And now it's like, I'm like really, really entering adulthood, like for real this time. It's not the same. It's like living with your boyfriend. It's not the same. I'm doing this by myself in a whole new state. I didn't move for college or anything like that. I'm moving on my own, by myself, no friends, no man, no nothing. You know, and it's just, I'm, I'm scared, y'all. I'm going to be okay, though. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to look back at this vlog six months later like, girl, you are it. Uh, you are it. But I want to be real with y'all. I said I'm going to do more vlogs. I'm just going to talk to y'all. If y'all don't like this part, please let me know down below. I promise I won't be mad. If y'all want me to keep this stuff out, if y'all want just the entertaining stuff, let me know. I won't be I won't be mad. I make content for y'all. I can make these little video diaries and keep them to myself. If y'all don't want to see the raw, the real, the emotional shit like what I'm on right now. But if y'all do like this, give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to continue to just take y'all along this journey with me of my growing and my developing into the woman that I'm called to be and all of that but I'm about to I'm done with my little piece I'm about to drink some more of this he almost some food I'm about to tell him to order me some damn pizza because the bitch is hungry I wasn't hungry as soon as I came here he asked me that I want some eating I said no that was like 15 minutes ago and I already changed my mind I want some damn pizza bullies and they close in like 20 minutes so let me go get him to order me some food oh if you know if you're from baltimore you know what's up man i got sunnies i fuck with urban's urban's is the shit with the mumbo sauce but a couple people have been telling me that sunnies is better so i'm like yo i gotta try it before i leave to see like what's really better so let's let's see i got blackish on this is my favorite show and it's lit, man. I'm about to tell y'all if it's, if it's better or worse. Just eat a french fry and see how it tastes. That is good. It's definitely not better than Ermin, so. It's good shit, though. I got my bad guy. It. It's good. But I ain't fucking with Ermin's, man. I'm sorry. It's not as sweet as Ermin's. Let's go. Top of the morning to you motherfucking hoes. Today is Thursday, October 4th. I fucking leave tomorrow. The bitch is emotional, but I'm not about to show up right now. It is 10.30 a.m. I'm about to get my nails done. Y'all know I started doing my own nails, but my nail tech, the best nail tech in America, she want to slay me one more time before I leave. So, of course, you know, I had to, I gotta let her do what she do to me. She about to bless the shit out of my nails. And, yeah. Extra, 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 extra long nails. I'm sitting over here thinking, like, do I want claws or coffin? I feel like the look that I want to go for will look better with coffin nails. But every time I get coffin nails, I regret it. Like, it just doesn't give me that feeling that the claws get. So, I'll probably get claws just because... I just be having like an itch when they're not pointy at it and it's a weird thing they just the same itch i have when they're not long enough it's that itch when they're not pointy so i'm probably going to get claws it's probably about to be a three hour session or whatever but they're gonna look good as shit so i'm gonna do that and then after that i'm gonna go to the store i really want a waist chain to go on my outfit tonight i checked a couple of stores i couldn't find any but someone told me on my live last night to check rainbow so i'm gonna i'm gonna check rainbow and see what they got up in there 
Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop rambling because majority of this vlog I want to be entertaining, like when I'm actually moving my stuff in, my party tonight, all the fun shit. So I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Hi guys. So as you can see, my nails are done. They look so freaking bomb. Let me show y'all. Got full one now because you know I'm about to leave and whatnot. I had to rent for my city. I'll show y'all a better view of my nails later. But I'm in the house now. It is six six fifteen. I have to leave out at seven thirty for my last therapy session. So I'm about to go on live. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you need to do that because you're about to go on live. I got me some Haitian punch right here to get my little pregame started. So I have to finish getting ready by like 7.30 because I got therapy at 8 o'clock. And then I'm trying to be on my way to the club by 9.30, really no later than 10. So, well, no, like 10.30. So I, I'll be all right. But I'm about to go on live and get dressed. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. So I just got to the building where I go to therapy at. It's my last in face session until December. Luckily, my therapist offers video therapy. I did that when I was in Orlando back in April. So I'll just, two weeks from now, I'll start my back up my video sessions. I'm not gonna cry on this session, because as you can see, a bitch face is motherfucking beat. All I gotta do is put on my lashes. I got my wig tied down, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get this cut into a ball when I get in the house. Gotta get one of my feet done. This one is done, this one isn't. So I'm in here looking crazy, and I'm super fucking dehydrated, so I hope it's water. In here because I just ate and I didn't drink anything by alcohol. Like, what's wrong with me? Why would I do that? I got my motherfucking baby with me. This my motherfucking sister for life. Oh, stop playing with me. Stop motherfucking.
Um, I swear the next time I come here, I'm gonna get something else. I swear. Dang, guys, what you got? What you got? Stock chicken broccoli. Super it's all right, it ain't all that though. Okay. It's all right. What are we doing tonight? It's really late, it's like 3 a.m. We have a deep conversation, eating our food. This is what we doing. I am full. This is, this is per usual with Mr. Isaac. He's always feeding me. Every time I turn around, this man is feeding me. Why are you always playing, bro? Like, why are you playing? Man, you about to go to the strip club, shake his ass. I got some, some black Timbs, handcuffs, <laughs> blue ass birthday hat. <laughs> fuck a balloon. That's your strip club outfit. That's your strip club outfit. Catch, catch my, catch my motherfucking best friend down. What's that? Baltimore Street or Lost? Where you at, Pooh? I'm at both. You at both? I'm at. I yeah. 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 Can we have uh, a box, please? You want a box, please? You done? Yeah, I'm done. Don't take his plate. No. Yeah, I'm gonna eat up because I'm about to finish eating your macaroni and cheese. He got some really good food. Um, next time I come, to, I always get Alfredo and I'm tired of it. Next time I come to Valentino's, I'm getting what he got because his food is so good. You know, bro. If you, if you see me at the club with some black hush puppies, you know? All he do is play. All he do is some blue ass shorts <laughs> and a leather jacket. That's just difficult, my friend. Yeah. I know I'm looking crazy. Damn. I'm broke. Broke, broke. You never broke, broke baby. We never broke. You never broke. Stop playing. You're money in my pocket. You're going to get your money in your house. I get my money when we get my house. That's fine. That's perfect. Too. Anyway, like I was saying, a bitch is tired. Daria has one job tonight, y'all. Six dollars. You want to meet me at five and below? <laughs> you gonna ball out, man? You gonna ball out in that bitch? I'm buying everybody candy stores and and and, and broke iPhone charger. <laughs> We're gonna have fun. I leave to, today. It's not, not even. Listen, maybe I'll leave today. We're gonna, gonna get some. we gonna get some bubble bubble, right? We're gonna get some bubble bubble and ball big ass bubble like right? <laughs> It's gonna pop, boom! It's gonna pop, pop with her face. <laughs> Pray the pillow off. Hold the makeup. Come on with the bubble gum. And that's how we gonna. Like, do what it. does he be coming up with? The bubble gum. It can pop, boom. Maybe no. I heard you. I heard <laughs> I'm ripping off like a scratch off. I heard you know story. You see these? You see these? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going in the house. All I'm going to say is this, y'all. If I wake up tomorrow and I have makeup on my face, I'm going to fuck him up. It's going to be his second night tonight, pissing me off. And in the five years that I've known this man, he has rarely pissed me the fuck off. But for some reason, the week that I'm leaving, he decides he wants to piss me off. Mm -hmm, boy. Oh, you I, did it? I've been, I been in Florida. You be in Florida? Mm -hmm. With some gold earrings. Some gold earrings. Mm -hmm. in the we see y'all. We see y'all for Halloween. Some Expect pads. to see him in my Halloween vlog because I don't know what. I don't want to ignore him. Like, he's stupid. He like a mini bag of popcorn. Ignore him. He be talking about the most random. Y'all, I swear to God, this man be talking about the most random shit. I don't even know what he be talking about at the time. I swear I don't. You ever see a mini, a mini bag of popcorn? Like what? Do y'all hear the popcorn? The, the mini bag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm done. I'm done. It's, you see this is the one I'm indulging at. 
y'all see him in my Halloween vlogs. And when he comes Ooh. down to shoot his other yeah. his other music video. I might vlog again tonight. If I don't, I will see y'all tomorrow morning. The vlog well, is today, but I leave in a couple of hours. So, I mean, 9 p.m. tomorrow, but I see y'all tomorrow morning when we get breakfast or something. I don't know. I leave today. Baltimore tunes only. Do you hear me? I haven't vlogged all day, but I'm about to leave. So I'm taking a family you picture. She pushed you. But stop wasn't enough. Come on, don't cry. Come on. Come on. Take another one. Is it, is it a picture of That's a video, but Danny take another picture. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, did that video just catch me? Oh, yes, it definitely did. <laughs> Go ahead, come with me. Yeah. Dear Holy Father, we all humbly come to you right now, Father God. We ask that you watch over Kanisa and Ray as they're traveling to Florida, Father God. Take the will and make sure they get there safely. Dear Holy Father, it is a blessing to have a, a sister like Kanisa to have her be who she is and do what she do at the age she does it. It is truly a blessing to know her and to love her and to be a part of her. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you guide Kanice as she leaves us for the rest of her life, Father God. We know we, see, we will see her again, but we ask that you stay with her in her travels and her life, and no matter where she goes. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Oh, oh my God. Why are you crying? <laughs> I see y'all on Christmas. I got my car keys. I got my keys. I don't know. See see see. I haven't window. vlogged all day, but y'all can see I'm packed. Can y'all like, see out that back window? Yes, Daddy, I can see. Mother. Yeah, baby. Do not lose my key, please. I'm so glad I decided not what? to do this job by myself. 
Oh. Just hold it. Put them on your keys or something. Okay, I got put it. Put them in the house. You know she lives yeah, yeah, put them in the house. Down. Yeah, put them in the house. She probably throw them away. She, she got $70? Love y'all. Love you. What do you think? Whew, me and uh, my sister are about to get on the road. About to go to 7-Eleven by Oxford. And then I'm going to say goodbye to Darian. And then we get on the road. So I'll update y'all when we like make some progress. My best friend is actually meeting us. This shit is so heavy. No, it's not that heavy. Now I'm driving off. I'm saying because we got all the furniture in here. Uh, my best friend is actually meet me at 7-Eleven. So I'm gonna see her there, and then I'm gonna go see Darian, and then we on the road. Yes. Had to say goodbye to my pookie butt. She ready to be ball out. She ready to be a fucking ball out. <laughs> yeah, nigga, what? Fuck wrong with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad, y'all, but I gotta leave. Best friend in America, best man in America. I don't she care what nobody her. say. Thanks. Yeah, I don't care what nobody say. Best motherfucking man in America. And you better. Why? You, come, <laughs> you gonna come down there and pluck my nerves? Um, nerves? Get on my nerves, please. I love when you get on my nerves, please. Mm. I gotta go, y'all. I'm trying to procrastinate so hard, really. I go on the road. So. No, look, hey. I wish I was leaving. Because I'm like, yeah, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> look, I love you, but I don't know. Fuck that. I'm, I'm gone. Babe, but you know me. You older. Huh? You older than me. What you like, You like, man, fuck it. I'm a baby. And you know, like, come I on. Mean, you know me. But you, but you cold hearted. Like, I'm you, not cold hearted. Yeah, but see, I just got that way. It's 5 o'clock in the morning, y'all. We are in South Carolina, I think. I have no idea. I just woke up. Um, I'm about to take over driving. Ray Ray just finished driving. I, I've been asleep since like 12 something, I think it is. We are six hours and 39 minutes away from my place. So I'll be going 80, y'all. I don't know why. I'll be going 80 at like a 50 mile zone because I don't give a fuck. And shit, we gotta get there, poo. Oh, it's a boat. That just makes me feel like I'm getting closer. You don't see people riding around with boats in Baltimore. But yeah, I'm out here getting some damn gas. And uh, yeah, I'll update y'all when we get somewhere. I don't know when I'm gonna update y'all again. I already played Summer Walker's whole album. Probably about to play it again, because that shit is fire. And um, yeah, we driving through the night, so everybody sleep, my friends. Everyone sleep, my family. So I probably won't talk to them till the morning time. So I'll, I'll update y'all again when we get somewhere closer. Catch it if you can Motherfuckers, we are in Florida. I'm mad, yo. We knew, we knew the sign was coming. I was asleep, but we thought that she was going to be able to catch the sign. And like, we only got a picture of it. I didn't have enough time to fucking record it. I'm so mad. They need to put up little warnings like, oh, you about to pass the sign that say that you entering the new state. I'm mad. I really want to get it on camera. All I got was the welcome little thingy after the picture. But if you follow me on the gram, you seen it. But I'm about to go back to school. Bitch, it's hard. Okay, y'all. So I just got into my place. Not going to show you the outside because, you know, stalkers. But this is the living area. I wish I could show y'all outside because that view is crazy. But this is my living area. Dining area. And we got the kitchen over here. I haven't even like looked through everything. <gasps> I have so much storage in here. In the kitchen, girl, in the pantry. I can put so much shit in here. Okay. That's ugly. <laughs> okay. This is the main bathroom right here. It's just about to be decorated the hell up. Linen closet. Let me show y'all the office before I show y'all my bedroom. This is my office. Okay. Wait a minute. Let's talk about this closet space in the office. That squeakiness is going to get on my damn nerves. Okay. Like, okay. And then... This is my office bathroom. I'm so glad. Like, so glad I didn't pick out... I mean, order my living room furniture yet. Like, so glad. 
And then let me take y'all to my room. This is my bedroom. Let me tell y'all, this shit's about to look so good in here. Y'all don't understand. Wow. <sighs> yeah, bitch. Let me tell y'all something. <sighs> it's about to be crazy, man. Like, it's about to be crazy. I'm about to be crazy. This is so fucking lit, bro. This is, this is not the life I signed up for. So, we just got to Walmart. We are making well with time, y'all. It took us like two and a half hours to move all that shit in. It wasn't even difficult until it got to the mattress. That shit was just, I don't even want to talk about it. It hurt my heart so bad. That's how ridiculous it was to bring that in the fucking house. But we, um, we just got to Walmart, about to do some grocery shopping, get a whole, we have a lot of stuff to get. So we're going to do this, take it in the house. And then we're just going to get some food to eat because I'm not cooking today. There's no way in hell I'm fucking cooking today. And we're gonna go to the pool or the beach or something, you know. So this is what we got. Three carts, y'all. Don't be getting I'm ugly. <laughs> you know, face nothing. Do y'all see this man? This is ridiculous. So I just left Walmart, and we got some Zaxby's. It's our first time trying it. This is the best shit ever. I love Zaxby's so fucking much. Okay, so as you can see, we've officially brought to everything. And I know these been a whole bunch of little short snippets, but baby, I am tired. <laughs> so we're about to put all this stuff away. And before I even clean the place or do anything else, we're going to the pool because we're hot, we need to relax. But first, we're gonna put this away and I'm just gonna do a little montage of me doing that. Today is Sunday, October 6th. Um, I haven't vlogged since yesterday. After I did that little like montage, I think that was the last thing I vlogged. After I did that montage, I um, sh bleached down both of my bathrooms. I hung up the shower curtains and everything in the bathrooms. And then um, shower, return to rental. And then we came in here and um, went to bed this morning when I woke up. Went to the pool. As soon as I woke up, I tan. I really didn't even get in the pool. I never really get in the pool. I just kind of go over there to tan because I really love tanning. So um, I tanned and I came back in. I was really, really tired. So I slept for hours. I think I slept for four hours, close to five hours, actually. 
which is a long time to take a nap. Um, but my sister is gone, you guys. I cried when she left, of course, because like I'm officially, officially by myself. And although I knew this is what I was going to be doing, I've never lived alone in my life. Like, I'm lying. I lived alone when I was in Lothian after my ex had moved out. But it was only for like three months before I moved out. And um, I was walking distance from my mom's house. I could go see friends whenever I wanted. People could come see me, you know. And, you know, I knew people. I was in Baltimore. So I don't want this whole vlog to be me being emotional and rambling. Um, but I do want to be, like, honest with y'all during this whole process. So, like I said, when I filmed that clip, like, the other day when I was at Darian's house, if y'all don't like this, just let me know down below. And I'll just film these and keep them as my own personal vid video diary if y'all want me to just... Um, show y'all like me putting stuff together and actual moving stuff then i can just keep the vlog like that but if y'all want it if y'all want all of it the rawness just let me know down below what you prefer but um i didn't let my sister see me cry because it just would have been more difficult um i don't want to cry again but when she left out i cried not just it's just like I said before, it's just a huge. <sighs> I'm so emotional, y'all. It's just a huge, like, transition for me. Like, just everything. I'm happy. Like, don't get me wrong. My place is beautiful. Everything is everything is fine. But this is just very, 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 very new for me. I've been away from my mom before. Like, obviously, I went to college and then I lived, like, with my last ex. But going to college, I, like I said, I had people there with me. And I was with my ex, like I had him, you know, I've always had someone there. I've never been like 1000% by myself where I can't just like access someone that I know and care about. You get what I'm saying? So it's just, it's different. But this is something that I, like I have to do this for like personal growth. When I, I always think about like when I started this journey, like before my relationship was even over, you guys, I never told y'all this. I already was thinking about like getting a place of my own. I decided that I was getting this place before we even broke up, which is so crazy. The same day, like everything, I'll talk about this morning story time, but just a quick story. I found this place and then went in the house to us breaking up for good. Like it all happened within an hour. When I found this place, when I was in Orlando, we were still in a relationship. We didn't break up till after I found this place. So I think that was God, like prepare me for something that I didn't know was about to happen. I, like I said, I'll explain more in the story time, but this is something that I, you know, I have to do for myself. I already knew it was going to be difficult. I knew I was going to cry and have like moments like this and everything. Um, but this is a, is a very necessary thing for my own personal growth. I know it's difficult right now, but I also know I'm going to appreciate it, you know, as I grow. I just think about like when I get married, I don't want to, marriage is a beautiful thing. And I know I'm going to love my husband. I know I'm going to love my kids and everything like that. But I don't want to look, I don't want to be 30, marry, amazing husband, amazing kids, and look back on my 20s and realize I never spent time, like, by myself. I never had a place of my own. When I was in the relationship that I was in, like I said before, we ended, I had, like, an itch to have a place of my own because even when I did live alone, that was a place that me and my ex had got together and we broke up and he moved out. So although I ended up living alone, I didn't get the place by myself the decorations with decorations that we picked out i wanted this like i wanted to apply for a place by myself be on the lease by myself pay for it by myself design it and decorate it the way i want it without a significant other because i just think it's important you know i've always been in a relationship if you know me you know that um and i didn't break up with my ex because 
you know, just because of the things I'm saying. This was added on to it, to the reason we broke up. But it's just something that I need to do. Like, I, I need to be by myself. I need to grow by myself and do this by myself. So when I do get to the point where I'm married and I'm with my husband, I can enjoy that season fully and I don't have any regrets. Like, damn, I've been cuffed up my whole life. I never had a period of my life where it was all about me. I can, I got, I, I didn't get a period of being selfish. When you're in a relationship, at least for me, when you're in a relationship, you can't really be selfish. You have to constantly think about your significant other. That's why I was moving state to state. I didn't mind because we were we were happy. We were with each other. So, you know, you think about things together. You make moves together. Uh, if I wanted to go to Cali or move to Florida by myself, it wasn't something I could just up and decide by myself because I was in a relationship. That's just me. Technically, you can. But me, if I'm in a relationship with somebody uh, my relationships are to work towards marriage, so I kind of move as if we are working towards marriage. Long story short, this is a season that I have to, just, it's just difficult, but it's necessary. When I get married, I want to enjoy that fully. I don't want to look back and say, damn, you was never by yourself. Damn, you never did this, you never do that. I can travel when I want. I can make business moves when I want. If I want to leave Florida and move to Cali today tomorrow, I can do that. I can literally do whatever I want. I get to be selfish and I get to grow my business and just be as creative as I need to be. Um, but it's just difficult right now. It's not it's a difficult transition for me. So what I'm about to do now is I'm about to go put my office together um, because work makes me happy. I know I haven't done like any real, real content in a while. So to get myself out of this funk, I kind of started to prepare myself before I got here. That's why I already planned out all my videos for the month of October. So I'm about to just get that office together. So I'm be up late tonight because I took a nap today. So I might film tonight. I don't know. I might film tomorrow, tomorrow, but either way, I'm about to get up and get that office together because working and being creative and doing my youtube videos and building my businesses that's what's just what i'm using to to help me you know with this just everything that i'm feeling as y'all can see my mattress is on the floor because my bed frame doesn't come in until tuesday so yeah but i'm just full warning y'all i have on this t-shirt and i put on some the biggest panties i can find i usually wear thongs or some type of lace underwear I've just, I love sexy underwear. I really do. I'm obsessed with it. That's all I fucking wear. I have a few panties that are just normal like this um, because I'm not putting on shorts to put my room together. I'm comfortable. I'm in here by myself. Um, most of my subscribers are girls anyway. Probably have a few guys that may watch this video, but majority of y'all females. And you will see the same thing if I had on a bikini. Probably a whole lot more because y'all know I love me some damn thong bikinis, but I'm just letting y'all know. I don't want to, oh, why you got panties on? I'm comfortable, okay? So I'm about to, um, my lights have not come in yet. They were supposed to be in Baltimore on Thursday, but they got a delay. So I don't even have lights in my place yet. So I'm going to have to use my Diva light, which is fine. It's bright enough. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use that. I'm going to set y'all up. And we're about to go over there and put that place together. I'm hoping this will get me out of my funk a little bit. So let go. This right here is my favorite song on the album. This shit right here. She ain't have to burn this
y'all. So, today is Monday, October 7th. I'm feeling better, so much better. Like, so, so, so much better. Um, yeah, I'm about to start putting my room together. My bed won't be until tomorrow, so I want to have my nightstands put up today. So, all I have to do tomorrow is put together my bed. Um, today, I'm going to actually end the vlog so I can upload it today because it's it's going to be a while before i'm like finished putting everything together so this vlog will probably be like two three maybe four parts of the whole moving process so this will be part one so i'm about to put this together my best friend y'all look what my best friend got me as one of my going away presents she got me this power drill and it's pink my favorite color i'm so excited to use it you know Sexy shit only, bossy shit only, stop fucking playing. Um, I'm probably put y'all in a different spot so y'all can really see what I'm doing. Um, again, I have panties on. If you got a problem with that, click off this video and I thank you. fucking i worked on that damn nightstand all day just to realize that i put my drawers on upside downwards and i'm just so over it i got so pissed off when i realized it that i went to sleep i just stopped doing it someone is coming tomorrow to fix that put my other nightstand together and put my bed together i'm in my office it is 2 45 a.m and i'm editing the vlog um, I planned on having it up tonight, but like I said, after that whole, first of all, I was working on the drawer from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., one fucking nightstand, and realized I sold, I mean, I keep saying so, I fucking screwed it on upside down, with, so I just went to sleep. When I woke up, um, I did some more organizing, um, and now I'm in here editing, and I'm going to make this like the last clip of the vlog, and then tomorrow we'll start like the new vlog. Um, I'm in my office. Um, I got some chips, some salsa, some juice. I'm just chilling in here editing. Um, 2.45 in the morning. <laughs> I'm such a night owl. Like, I'm such a night owl. I'm always up late. And I still wake up early. So. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah, I'm going to make this the last clip of the vlog. Um, so far, the vlog is... 16 minutes long and i haven't even got to uh the day that i move i'm on like wednesday right now of last week so that's that but uh, i'll see you guys in the next vlog give this video a thumbs up let me know if you like the ransom you guys just want to see moving stuff what you like give me some constructive criticism um i love y'all i will see you in the next vlog Mwah.